Hello everybody, how you doing today? Good to see you, thanks for coming by. Um, just gonna do a couple little things out here today, and experimentally wise. And uh, I'm gonna utilize this little piece of steel. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that here in a few minutes. And uh, we're gonna experiment and see if we can't cut down some of the raspiness of the exhaust note on a Springer bike. Now some of you may have noticed the last time I did a video where I rode the Springer bike, when I started it, that back fender was shaking like crazy. Let's have a look at that. Nobody commented on it, so I don't think any of you recognized it. But I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I noticed it in the video. See that? Well, one of my little welds up underneath there where the bracket for that goes has come loose. I guess it wasn't done very well. So we're going to pull that out of there just enough that I can put a spot weld on there. And then, well I need to pull it out of there so we can see what's going on anyway. It's kind of shaded in there, isn't it? Alright, so I propped the seat up so we can see down underneath there. And right there on that bracket where it's welded to this pipe is broke loose. That weld did not stick very good. Anyway, it's not being very obvious. There it is. You can see it. Maybe. Anyway, I can see it. And it needs this little spot weld to be retouched up. Of course, everything on this bike needs to be disassembled and fully welded. Because remember, it's all just put together enough to ride, but it's not enough to you know, for testing. It's not enough to be really, truly road worthy. So when I break it all down for paint, I'm going to have to go over every weld and make sure it's good and complete. But for right now, I'm just going to touch that up. And then what I plan to do is do a test ride so we have it before and an after. I'm going to take this plate just to put this on there. Draw it out with a magic marker from the back side. Drill a bunch of holes in it because I don't want to create back pressure. I want to reduce the raspiness of the exhaust note, sort of like a baffle. And I had thought about using multiple layers of these plates in there, like baffles. And then I decided, well, wait a minute. Why don't I just put some steel wool inside there and put that on the end to keep it from blowing out? Because all I want to do is break those sound waves up, but I don't want to cause back pressure. So I think if it has to come through a, a little bit of steel wool to get out, it's going to reduce the raspiness of the, you know, it's the difference between wide open and a baffled exhaust. And so that's what we're going to try. And bear with me, I'll do a before and after of the uh, sound note. And then we'll see if it actually is any better or if I'm just crazy. <laughs> Okay, all right. All right, so here's the piece that I made for it. And there's uh, plenty of holes there. There's five, nine, 10, 12 holes in there. And you remember on the inside, when I built that exhaust pipe, I had nine holes, which would equivalent the inside diameter of the exhaust header, the stock one for that motor. So I know I've got more than enough export holes in this, so I will not be creating any back pressure. And we'll zoom in on there, I'll show you how it fits up. And I'm just going to lightly tack weld it in a couple places, because remember this is experimental. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad or what, but anyway that's what it's going to look like, something to that effect. And, uh, but first we're gonna start it up so we can get a 
before and after type thing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start it up and ride it down the alley so you can hear it rip. And then I'll pull it back in here and we'll put the steel wool in it, tack weld that on there, and then start it back up and take it down the alley and hear it rip and compare. So hang on, I'll turn it around and we'll do that. So, now that we've got a before shot, I'm going to uh, pack that steel wool in there and uh, tack weld that on there. And we'll see, although it sounds good, I don't want my neighbors complaining is the whole thing. And I know the audio suppresses it, or the camera suppresses the audio a little bit. It is a little bit ear splitting. So we're going to try to tone it down a bit. Hang on. Now I know you guys are going to ask what kind of steel wool I'm using. And this is that real fine steel wool like you'd use to polish furniture with after you put wax on it. And I know ideally this is not the kind you want for something like this, but this is all I've got. And I'm just putting a real, because it doesn't stretch apart good. And so I'm just putting a little bit in there. All I want to do is break up the sound waves. I don't want them to become flying straight out. I just want to break them up. So I'm just putting a little bit in there because I don't want to clog it up either. That will, you know, greatly reduce my performance. Let's have a look. I think you can see I just got a little bit in there. And I don't even know. That may be too much. I don't know. And the only way I'm going to know is to put that cover on there and tack it on and try it. If it can't breathe, then I'll have to take that out, you know. So I'm going to tack it on and we'll see. Okay, she's good and ugly now. <laughs> We're going to try her though, see what happens. Well, I can hear a little bit of difference already. Well, for the moment, I'm going to call that a win. Uh, because it did take off that little bit of raspiness. It, the, uh, the sharp bite that note had. And it didn't seem to restrict the flow any. Although I may not be completely satisfied, I'm going to let it go for today just because it's freezing out here. <laughs> for one. And... Plus, I'm not going to know for sure until I actually edit these video clips together for this video and can hear the difference side by side for myself. I may be illusion, you know, delusioning myself. You know what I mean? I may be just thinking it's better, and it's really not. So, by watching the videos, I'll be able to tell a little better. I would like for it to be a quieter. Thump, 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 you know? 
I think we did that before the blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> you remember that video? Blah 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 blah. All that stuff. But uh, yeah, that. With a little bit of a bass note. Boom, 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 boom. Kind of a bubbly sound is what I was really after. And I may not be able to achieve that with what I've done here. I may end up having to get a uh, actual muffler from somewhere in order to get that note. There's a machine out there called a thumpster. I don't know what that is, but I saw a guy putting some sort of he was he put a washer inside his baffle and replaced the fiberglass packing with that other kind of steel wool. And what he did is he traded his idle note for quieter on his rev note. But his before he had a quiet idle or he had a quiet he had a quiet idle and a high rev note. And then he did that modification and he ended up with a louder idle but a quieter rev note. So he traded one for the other. But the basic sound of that thumpster muffler was pretty good, just as it was before he did anything to it. It had that thump, 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 thump. I think it was on a quad or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna check this out for the video. Hope you guys check it out. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. I'm actually gonna ride this over the little store. I've gotta get a couple of things. And while I'm out here messing around on it, I'm just gonna ride it over the little quick store a couple blocks over. And then I'm gonna call it a day out here. I tell you what, I just got back from going to that little trip to the store, and I am very happy with the way that sounds right now. It uh, has a really nice exhaust note. I will uh, let you experience that for yourself on another day when it's not so cold, and uh, hook up one of the other cameras I can take along with me that'll, that'll give you a true feeling for what that sounds like but it's just real mellow. It took that sharp, crisp, whip snap and edge off of it. And uh, the ear splittingness is gone. Now it's just real mellow, thump, 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 thump. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me know what you think. So, I'll see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys, all my viewers, all you people that comment, and uh, all my brothers. Thanks for coming in and checking it out. And we'll see you later. All right? All right. Bye-bye.